Gary Salo, Golden Motor Canada. Today I'm introducing another motor, third new motor from Golden Motor in three months. This is the Smart Pi Vector. As you can see, it comes shrink wrapped. This has a sin wave controller in it, or a sine wave. I'm not quite clear on which is the proper pronunciation. But the idea of this motor is it runs on a curved wave instead of a square one. So when the magnets are shutting on and off with a square wave controller, it's very rapid and it's loud. You can hear it, especially on takeoff. You hear like a pinging noise. Now with the sine wave controller, the waves are curvy. So the magnets come on and off at a more gradual pace working together. And it's a very smooth takeoff and silent. I've tested this motor. It's unbelievable how quiet it is. This is a 700C version. Now people say to me, uh, okay, what do I need? What's in the box? Well, here, I'll show you another one. This is the 12-inch version. All the sizes come the same, just the rim size is different. The only difference between all the kits is the 12-inch comes with a tire. No other wheel comes with a tire. You just use the tire off your bike. And if you wanted to know how to measure your tire size, you don't measure it. You read it right off the tire. The worst thing you do is measure the rim and order it because you'll get it wrong. Anyway, we have the wheel. Okay, 12 inch. And the box that comes with it of the controls. So here you can see the sine wave controller. It's mounted right inside of the wheel there. It's right out on the outside of the motor so it gets lots of wind, especially on the front wheel drive like that. And on the rear wheel drive, the controller is mounted inside the housing here. And it's got the open air vents. So the controller gets nice and cool. So, in the box you have a set of controls. These are the new vector wiring harnesses. The plugs are much better, new and improved. You just spin them, push it on. You don't have to line up any arrows or anything. When you take it apart, you can hear that popping sound. Nice waterproof design. Even all the small plugs are the same. Just spin it, line it up pop when you open them. So you have a throttle, the two brake levers, cruise control, a horn, and your power. So, and here's your other hand grip. For demonstration purposes, I just happen to have a battery here. Sneak this into the frame. It's getting a little crowded on the table. You have red and black wires that come from your battery. The motor has red and black wires. So you attach the red and black wire, the red wires together, and the black wires together, and the best connection you can make with this, of course, is to solder it really well. But just to demonstrate here, I'm going to use just regular household morettes. These are used in household wiring. There you go. Now everything's nice and safe, it won't short out. Red and black are attached. Controls are plugged in. Let's work the throttle out here. Okay, going to power up the battery. You can see the lights went on in the throttle there. And when you turn the throttle, the motor goes. So that's everything you need to do to hook it up. It's quite simple. The only difference is, you, of course, you have to put it on your bike. And then you run the wires up to the handlebars. And you mount the controls on the handlebars. And off you go. Gary Salo. Gold Motor Canada.